Hello people, and welcome back to part 15 of the Noob's Guide to City Skylines. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for all the support across our little beach development episode. Uh, you guys really enjoyed this, and I hopefully found some inspiration from it as well. Brought in some sort of commercial, unique tourism vibes with some natural rock pool designs and a little cruise terminal sort of area as well. It all turned out really nicely. It's in lots of walkability around here too, which is always nice to see, right? Yes, please, everyone. As the sun sets and the the skyline now sits as a background. <laughs> it's all coming together, isn't it? Slowly. Slowly but surely. However, in today's episode, we are going to return to covering each of the DLCs. And we have arrived at the most recent and possibly the last DLC for City Skylines 1. The Airports DLC. And we have some nice ideas in store today. So, of course, because we are within the nine tile limitations of the vanilla game... We are going to have to be quite careful with this airport, especially on a map like Diamond Coast, where there is a lot of the land within the tar radiuses uh, that is actually water. So I'm thinking today we can eye up a single runway uh, multi-terminal airport build. Might introduce two runways, we'll kind of see how things pan out. But I very much want the runways to be the star of the show uh, and to span out over the water and to sort of introduce themselves into this part of the beach line. You know, we brought in our fence last time where we can upgrade this to airport fence now. And I really make a bit of a song and a dance as to how the airports and runways can help decorate the city alongside bringing tourists in as well. But either way, there is some nice ideas in store today. Let's discuss how we can use the airports DLC in City Skyline, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to start out just by removing all of my initial road frames that we drew out here from the Downtown Road Network frame episode. Because now there's going to be a new build sat over here. First thing we want to do is come into our districts and areas and find the airports tool. And by the way, if you are missing the Airports DLC, you can find it via my instant gaming link down below. Super cheap now, and does help support me directly. So thank you very much if you do end up using the link. So when we come to grab a paint airport area, unlike the other three areas that we've worked with so far, like industry and campus, this one is actually going to terraform out to the contour line that you start painting out from. So, knowing that I want the runways to be sat somewhat close toward uh, the ocean, I want to be maybe clicking out about here okay you're gonna notice that it's gonna create a very harsh terraform don't worry about this we will terraform out the very unnatural landscape that this thing paints out but for right now we just want to be giving ourselves a rough shape and when we do get too much soil thankfully the airport patch did give us the ability to buy and sell soil now so uh, these things can be pretty expensive to paint out so you you want some money behind you before you come and build one of these things so i'm just going to paint out Sort of a general L shape here around the beach, give myself a lot more room than I need. And then we can start placing some assets. So there we have an initial shape. Looks absolutely horrific <laughs> at the minute, of course. Just bear with it, right? You're not going to avoid this, especially in a relatively hilly map like Diamond Ghost. If you're on a, like, a really flat map, then you won't really have this issue, but if you're following along Diamond Coast, then you will. Okay, so that's going to be my initial structure. Now I want to plan out a little sort of pier for one of the runways to go off. And we're going to need to keep buying a lot of soil here as we come out into the ocean. There we go, not enough yet, just keep... Just keep buying it. Or you can go and dig it out from elsewhere if you like. Okay. And then that should be enough for what I'm after. Again, the, <laughs> the horrendous vanilla terraforming junk is present, but we'll, we'll tidy it up, all right? Don't worry about that. Just come in now and grab our softened terrain. I'm just going to come and start softening out all these nasty slopes along the edge just to get rid of that brown little cliff face that starts to spawn. Okay, let's get rid of the most of it. You can actually terraform airport areas once you've painted them out. There's nothing that stops you from doing that. But uh, once you come to place your buildings, you want to make sure everything's on the same playing field. So now I'd like to set an orientation as to where my sort of main primary terminals are going to lie. I'm going to do this by bringing out a little dirt road frame. This is going to be good for me. Let's bring it up by another five tiles. Back into the airports. Now we only have the classic uh, style available to us at the minute until we hit level two, which doesn't take that long. And I want to go for the uh, classic two-story terminal here. Okay, I'm going to drop this in. And then remove my initial holding frames. 
So I know that I'm now snapped to that 90 degree angle. Once this is in, let's come into our highway roads and I'm going to grab a, a highway ramp here. No road guideline. Then from this point, I'm going to bring it out by 360. I'm going to do the same here by 760. But bring it down uh, just about to the ground. It's like a single elevation point. It's not quite touching the ground yet. Very nice. So that's going to add an entry road into the airport terminals. And again, there's lots of decoration and uh, detail opportunities around here today. And I think I'm going to be quite a natural sort of frontage to the airport. Not too commercial, I think, today. Try to change things up a little bit. Okay, so as the game played, uh, we now have the ability to build uh, aircraft stands and runways, uh, which will now unlock within our game on this side. So I'm going to want to bring out a classic uh, concourse. Now, really, before I kind of do anything and really establish the airport build, I want to make sure I get at least a level 2. So, we're going to give the bare requirements that the game needs to hit a level 2 airport, let it play for a little bit, and then we can come back and start to craft the build a little bit more at level 2. So, I'm going to grab a runway. Uh, once the water subsides from our terraforming, which will take uh, a hot minute. shouldn't take too long, though. Just wait for it to go away. And it does... <laughs> it does look as though the terraforming has destroyed last episode's beach. This is not good news. The uh, <laughs> the sea life enclosures here. Oh no, it's destroying my green cities. Stop. Okay. So we're having a slight flooding problem over by the beach. <laughs> so if we're going to terraform our landmass into your ocean like this, um, do just be wary of the water displacement. It will... um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll trash a green city's waterfront. Oh no. At least it's receding now anyway, right? <laughs> At least it's receding. So I will, of course, let all these regrow after the tsunami. That's fine. It should all still be zoned, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. So yeah, just let your green city district grow. And I'll uh, replant my tourist mass districts as well. I think that's everyone okay. Oh, looks like the campsite got destroyed too. Look at all the debris that comes from a tent being destroyed. <laughs> How did this happen? Okay, is everyone else alright? It looks like the wave is still heading towards the cruise terminal. Rest in peace to those on the cruise liners. But otherwise, once it has subsided, <laughs> you will be okay. So don't worry too much about lengths and positioning for right now. I'm just going to go ahead and draw out one of my runways here. And then the next thing you want to do is actually set up the taxiway configurations for an airport DLC. Airport. Um, so what you want to do is where the planes will land at the end of the arrows here. You want to draw out a taxiway at the end here. Don't have it facing in. Because the AI will read this as they can come in. And they will use this as they run up and immediately take off. It looks ridiculous. So make sure that they exit out of this side of the runway. Bring it right the way back down. To connect in with the next guideline so they can come in over here. Okay, this is great. And then what I want you to do is just to spam three or four, possibly even five, uh, small aircraft stands now. Uh, so we can start to receive passengers in the airport. Uh, this is going to allow us to get to level two. Uh, runways can sometimes, or taxiways, sorry, can sometimes be a little bit finicky as to where they want to snap. So if that happens, just delete a section and then redraw the one you want to do. It usually helps it out. Okay, so this is all we need now for an airport. We can start to accept passengers. And once, of course, we have uh, road networks hooked in, which, again, very temporarily and very crudely, I'm just going to do as such. Okay, please ignore that. That's horrific. And then let's also give them a temporary power source just so the airport can start to function and accept sims. So very much like part life and industry areas, uh, these airport areas have criteria that they need to hit in order to move to that next level. Uh, for which is an attractiveness score of 200. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And then passenger count as well, which we have 10 of 500. Uh, these planes will come and go and bring passengers in. Uh, the attractiveness score is dictated by how many decoration buildings you have placed within the city. Or within the airport rather. Um, so again, it can be a wise idea here. Let's actually make sure that we hook in our taxiway properly. <laughs> How many people are screaming about that? Uh, yes, don't, don't forget to hook in your taxiways. This is very important. At least on both sides anyway. And I can see where this is going to be awkward now. So let's bring it up. I want to make sure I'm snapping to that 90 degree angle again. I can come back down. And then again, just change your directions. 
so the planes can come and go from the runway to the taxiway uh, in sort of this configuration, all right? Cool, yeah, so with the attraction buildings, you want to place these down, okay? There's hangars, there's a couple of little hotels you can chuck in as well. Uh, get some small planes parked up along there. Basically, all you want to do is spam these assets until you get to level two. Uh, which we need basically one more plane, right? So just throw that in. Of course, ignore this. This is not the final build. And there we go. So we've met the attractiveness score for level two. And we now just want to wait for 500 passengers. So go and make yourself a brew or something. Go and have a look at some airports on Google Earth. Wait for this to hit level 2, and then we'll be right back, and we can start playing with some of the nicer terminals. So there we go. After a couple of minutes, we now have a level 2 airport, which gives you a bunch of new stuff, like the luxury hotels and the large hangars, alongside the uh, classic large terminal and the concourse hubs. There's also an elevated metro station, and some more sort of attraction stuff, like lounges and fuel stations, alongside some larger park planes. So, this gives us a lot more options to play with at level 2. So, kind of counterintuitive now to any of my videos <laughs> and I want you to delete everything okay because we're going to be playing uh, with some of these boys over here let's go into the large one so we'll start playing with some of the larger terminals like this and then we can now start to configure our road network and taxiways and runways around these larger terminals to start to develop a more complete airport so tear everything out and then we can start so now we have a blank canvas where we can build our airport we're at level two and everyone's going to be happy so let's come in and start drawing some of those dirt road frames again so we can snap our terminals onto 90 degree angles which will help with the aesthetic point of view come the end as well so i think i'm happy to have my first terminal here i'm going to go for this uh, two-story one again and again worth checking your orientations making sure you're happy with how things are sitting as with every other build in this game okay and then let's draw our concourse now so we're going to snap the uh, airport stands and air control towers to a concourse. So now I want to draw out another little holding frame to snap my next terminal to. And I think that there should be about okay. Again, just checking how the terminals are going to sit configured with one another. Let's bring this down now onto the guideline. Start hooking everyone in. Come into our highway road. So I'm going to use the two lane. Uh, one way highways to keep everyone connected in here so we can just bring this in then slight curve into the terminal that's going to be nice and now remove the frames and allow the bottom layer to come in and we can bring this in a similar curvature just so it's in there now start to see how you're going to create almost this little sort of airport uh, courtyard where you can start to plant some car parking if you want various different ideas you can do google earth is great for inspiration like this Okay, and then this frame can now be deleted, and we can work on the entrance into the road. So I can see now that in Diamond Coast, not everyone's map is going to be like this, that because I have this natural hill here, that there's an opportunity to work with some layers of height in front of the airport terminals. So let's do a little bit of terraforming. I'm just going to mark out a layer where my uh, six-lane road one way can lie. with that let's come into our six lanes now and we will be using the uh, six lane one ways but we'll just set up the two way for the minute and then we can configure one way networks once we know how we're going to lie and this can come down now and let's get a little bit of a freeform tool and we can snap to that road guideline back to the straight tool and then back in fantastic news this is going to be great now let's take out section here we're going to develop a little roundabout, of course, which we've done before. So, again, we're going to make sure that the uh, terraforming around the roundabout so it remains on the same layer. So, let's give it a little bit more breathing room. So, you know, don't be afraid to come in and start playing with sort of terraforming ideas around your airport. I'm going to go for a little five deep roundabout. Again, following those blue markers. That's the where the five point actually ends. Okay, and then we know that this road network here now will become at six lane one way so we can upgrade this have this feed into the roundabout and then have people exit the airport via this point over here 
And then this point will be our entrance area. So now we have our terrain sloped and our two entrance points added into the runway terminal. Uh, we can now use the curve road tool and some road guidelines in order to configure our entrance properly. So we can start to the guideline here, but I'm going to go two points past that and then down to the ground over here. And then we want to mirror that same technique this side now, but we want to come to the guideline and then come two points before it. And then draw it there. And that's going to leave us a nice little gap between these areas. And then we can come ahead and grab our road. Bring it down by about there for right now. That should be okay. And then just a little free fall action now to hook into the end of the road. And then switch your directions so everyone flows into the airport's one-way system. I make this a larger road if you want, or indeed upgrade it into a two-lane highway, but I'm happy with the trees. I'll probably upgrade these into some sort of fancy content creator one if we want to. Maybe go for perhaps a live oak or maybe something a little bit more tropical. Coconut palm or something. Okay, all stuff for our detail and talent lots, of course. So it's going to give me a nice entrance. There's also uh, layers of road height developing here now as well. And it's essentially the same thing uh, that we want to do over here now. So let's come ahead and grab uh, our two-lane one-way highways. And then we can do the same now by mimicking. Let's do a nice big 10 curve here. It's going to come out. We can now snap to this skyline of the road. Which is going to keep our little uh, entrance and exit roads the same. We can see now that we're starting to approach the next layer. So let's prepare that as well. Probably trim this back a little bit now as well. So we have that room to breathe. A little bit of a slope on. So the gradient on this bottom layer isn't going to be too severe. And we can do another 10 curve here by the looks of it. Curve that one out by 10. And hit that bottom guideline, and that's going to bring you equidistant. I can actually, on second thoughts with this one, but once we do that 10 curve, uh, we actually want to drop down by two elevation points, so we can start bringing this network back down onto the ground. And then let's line up our two entry roads back into the one-way network here. So we'll align them up either side of the road guideline of the six lane. Make sure we get that one right there. There we go. Then we can just bring these out now on curves and hook them into their respective counterpart roads. Same thing over here. Now we should have enough room here just to hook back in pretty simply. Yes, there we go. And then everyone can change direction back into the road. So all just about configuring a one-way loop that you find appealing for these sorts of areas. Of course, if you don't really need to do this, if you're only having one terminal, but it can be helpful if you're using sort of the larger terminals, two, three, or four of them, then configurations like this can be nice. Fantastic. So now we have two airport terminals in. Let's now configure the runways, which are the next most important thing. And again, I want the runways to be snapped to appropriate angles to the terminals. So some initial dirt road frames are going to be really helpful for aligning these uh, builds. Okay, so... 90 degree angles snapped off of the guard line from the uh, actual airport terminal itself. Then let's grab ourselves a runway. And again, we can align it with the edge of this dirt road frame here. So if you do want to get quite precious about runway lengths and how sort of realistic runway lengths actually work in the real world, um, you can look that up, but it's not really a factor into your airport if it doesn't really bother you. Okay, and again, I can see an opportunity now where I might want to have sort of a second runway pier here. So let me extend my airport area out. And we can use this little bay that's beginning to develop around the runways as part of the airport build itself. Let's also flatten this bit out too. There we go. I'm going to be happy with that. I also see the airport area once pushed out just a touch more here as well. So let's go for this one right here. We'll have it come right out and over. And that's going to be perfect for uh, one runway for me. So, of course, what we looked at at the start, let's now bring out taxiways in measurements of 10 either side of the runway itself and remove the frame now we have it in. I'm going to be happy with that. Yeah, it's going to be good for me. So now let's draw in our second runway and this time I'm going to draw this one out from a road guideline. It snapped off of the main terminal building. This feels like it's going to be a good place for me. Bring this out. Again, the distance is how realistic you want to be, is how pedantic you are with real life airports. Bring that out there. Going to be happy with that. And the same process again, of bringing it out by 10 tiles with the taxiway. Blank it down the right side. 
then we could snap back into here. So the reason why we're doing 10 tiles here is because if you do it like shorter than that, as the planes on the runway pass by the taxiway, their wings will clip. It just looks a little bit silly. So 10 unit distance between the runway and the taxiway before it moves off is sort of a nice rule of thumb to follow if you like. But there we go. That's going to give us two configured uh, taxiways and runways with two terminals and an entry and exit system for them as well. Which is great, right? Things are starting to grow. Things are starting to happen. Let's now come back into our concourses so we can start drawing out our classic airport concourse. Let's have this one over here. And we'll bring this one out a little bit as well. So I do want a little bit of the airfield exposed. If you wanted to wrap the whole airport up with concourse, then you could. It's going to allow to fit a lot more airplane stands in, but I do want a little bit of the taxiway and the airfield itself kind of exposed for viewing here, um, especially from this beachfront. Uh, we'll make a little airport viewing deck out of the part life stuff today as well. So as I'm drawing out this next terminal, I'm going to stick in units of 10. So we'll go for a 30 unit right here. Let's come back onto the guideline and then I'm going to go for this one right here, I think. Let's bring this up by 30 again. So you can snap on a concourse hub here if you want. These do have metro stations built into them. You can see the line underneath. So it's a nice opportunity to bring in some of your underground networks if you want to. Uh, drop in a concourse hub. So on second thought here now, I'm seeing opportunities for how I actually want to use this concourse hub. So I'm just going to trim everything back and just dive back into our classic concourses as well. And I'm going to bring this out by units of 10 each time. I think we'll go for... 30 again, and then we can snap on our concourse up on the end. So I'm going to have this on an angle. But indeed, people from the road can still see the airfield. And as we come around, sort of this side of the beach here, there's opportunities to use part life to help complement the airport as well. Back into our aircraft stands now. And we can snap these concourses onto the edge of these if we wish. We can have one so we can squeeze in two per side for the small stands. So I'm happy to have this repeating. So you don't want to place the aircraft stands too close toward the corner of the concourse because it can make them a little bit awkward to uh, configure with taxiways. So just give yourself a little bit of breathing room. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then let's maybe switch back to uh, some medium aircraft stands on the back of the main terminal. Of course these can be switched out for large as and when you want them. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So now we want to start configuring uh, some taxiways to come and serve these, which is going to be absolutely fine. So we can have taxiways now start to sort of come along the edge of this little pier here and pass by the beach, which will be uh, very much an appreciated aesthetic, I think. Start hooking all of these together now. Again, continue to use your curves and freeform tools. As you see fit, you don't always have to stick to very rigid 90 degree angles here. And indeed, some of these snap-ins will also damage you if you don't want them. Let's have that one there. Then we can bring it back onto a curve now. Keep feeding everyone through the one-way loop. That can also hook through. Let's get these. And then it can hook back into the taxiway now. So this will quite often happen with the airports DLC. Uh, the taxiways can be quite particular about how the lights be hooked in. It'll say, like, space already occupied. Just delete that section. Make sure that there's a road guideline snap. Come back in. Get in. And then it will just connect back in like that. So, little tip. It can sometimes be a little bit finicky with how it likes to behave. But you can get around it most of the time. Okay. So, now, currently, the uh, plane's landing on this taxiway. If it's a medium aircraft, they have to run through the loop of small aircraft stands beforehand, which isn't ideal, so we can create them a little cut through here. Uh, let's go for this one at that point. That's going to be good, and then we can change the direction. Okay, looks like we need to bring the power back through. We will, of course, create a power sink, and not everything is going to be linked through with the horrendous vanilla power lines today. There we go. So let's identify where our underground metro line is, because we definitely want to have this hooked into the airport. Um, yes, it's right here, isn't it? Okay, so let's pause the game. 
I'm going to delete a little bit of the metro line here. Come into metro, grab the underground tunnel. It's actually come underground. There we go. Then let's grab that line. I had to stop into this point. So I'm just going to make a little detour as it comes into the airport and then back into the uh, downtown metro system that we've set up. Which is getting 4 420 uh, passengers a week now, so that's that's nice and busy for Metro. 107 coming from that one, so more people being fed into the downtown public transport networks. And here we go. Different types of planes leaving now. Very nice. <laughs> it's always satisfying. So, speaking of kind of continually working with the terraforming, I mentioned it earlier that I'm definitely seeing opportunities now to work in and perhaps more of this water in between um, the runways, which again is only going to kind of reinforce the sort of runway pier vibes, I guess is what we're going for today. Yeah, I do love a runway pier. I've done one in like each one of my airport DLC builds so far. <laughs> they are really fun. All right, so let's trim this up a little bit. Also see now where I might want to sort of trim off the edge here and really start to shape the coastline around this new airport which is going to help decorate it massively because again as with things we discussed before across this series uh, the airports dlc airports do fall into the remit of things that can turn ugly very quickly if we don't give them the proper care and attention all right well, there we go see how that just really kind of exaggerates the peninsula when we start cutting it back in like that of course during our d10 time lapse we will add keys in here and tidy it all up but we can start to see the initial designs coming into play. So there is also a metro terminal under this uh, second terminal here. For which we could actually bring it round and complete the loop with that. And um, that would actually make sense. So yeah, let, let's go ahead and do that. There's going to be no point why we shouldn't really. So yeah, let's allow the metro line to come under the airfield. And then we'll feed this right the way through. It can probably actually just double back on itself here. So we'll bring that through and then just add two more stops uh, into the concourse station uh, where we can, if we can grab that very awkward little line. There we go. Cool. So yeah, both of those hooked in. So now let's discuss sort of airport detailing as to what you can actually do with these things because there's lots of open space and the game, well, the DLC did come with some options to help fill these. So we have large hangars, of course, which is going to sort of give you a hangar aesthetic, which I'm quite keen on having over this way. So let's continue to expand our airport area out, selling soil as and when you need it. Uh, perhaps a couple of small hangars. I think the large hangar is a little bit too big for what I'm trying to put together here today. And we can also get some uh, parked planes. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually slide the planes into the hangars if you are playing with Anarchy with the modded game then you can but for some strange reason the game didn't come like that <laughs> not entirely sure why but there we go let's also trim back our layer here as well again just to get rid of that nasty brown texture that really takes away from the build okay there we go let's go ahead and chuck in perhaps another hanger okay let's get a little bit of repeated hanger and plain spice on the go let's have that one in there and then we'll grab another medium part plane Put this one next to it. Now, even the props, especially props this size for the airport's DLC, are going to make a real big difference to how the build looks. So, continually check them. And I think it's kind of a general, sort of small, low-key, tropical airport. I'm very much on board with the vibes that are starting to develop here. And um, at the airport level 2, we did unlock the airport fence, which is wonderful. So, we can now upgrade the oil fence that we put in last episode into airport fence. We'll bring this one down with just an angle snap. Keep it straight. Now this one will grid. Yep, there we go. Actually redraw this final section now. Now that we sort of know where the runways are gonna lie, let's have it come this way. And it can just kind of chill off and head into the water. And again, keys will be decorating this come the end, so that's going to be fine. And then this little sort of number now can just hug the main road that flows through the downtown. Which again is going to serve as another nice point of decoration. 
and we will break a little bit of this in a, in a bit as well once we come to build sort of the airport viewing platform but as a general sort of impression you can get the vibe here right high security airport fence with all our airports assets up behind it now it's going to start tying things together so learn to appreciate the airport fence it's uh it's a nice aesthetic in the airfields discussing further airfield decoration there is also aviation fuel stations for which um, the aviation crowd will actually come for you if you place these too close to the runway for which you can understand this would be an enormous safety hazard if a plane were to skid off the runway so if you want realistic perspectives keep them off of it let's maybe break the pattern here and let's throw in maybe sort of a smaller parked plane maybe it's currently in the process of being refueled whatever sort of law and justification you want to give to it then you can do okay so you can start to fill out these areas now if you're on the PC, I highly suggest getting the surface painter mod. It makes sort of going out areas like this a lot more nicer. You know, it's to have it all concrete, it's impossible in the vanilla game. And um, you can use a vanilla walking path, but it just looks bad. So <laughs> just just don't do it. Otherwise we can really start to fill out our airfield now. There's also a little opportunity here as well where I can possibly see where we might want to uh, link the taxiways through. Okay, it's gonna link the two networks together, which isn't a bad thing as long as they're uh, still following the rule of facing out at the bottom. So we'll grab a large hangar. And then maybe a medium part playing this time. So it's just about developing these little spots of personality now around the airport. Again, if you're on the PC with mods and indeed assets, this sort of designs become vastly more interesting. But you can still make do with some fairly nice patterns uh, in the absolute vanilla game. But it's nice to see it all coming to life now, isn't it? So we'll start to breathe a little bit more, looking a lot more active. This is what we like to see. Let's have a little look at our airport status, see what we're up to. Yeah, so we're still uh, not even halfway up to hitting level 3. So let's have a little look at what else we can do with our decoration buildings. So we do also have a luxury airport hotel, which does want to be within the airport area, which is a little bit of a ball ache, because that's going to terraform all this area out for us, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to level this back out, don't worry. So, so within the airport area, this is a prime example of how we can terraform. That's just something pretty cool to the road network <laughs> when you do it like that, but it's not the vibe I want. So even though it's in the airport area, I can just re-terraform it out because I want this on this same layer um, up this way. Um, if it can at all be helped and make sure that we're respecting the drop in height here in front of the terminals. Let's not forget about that. So the airport hotels. Uh, relatively nice assets. There is only two of them, but you can make use of them. And there's the also the uh, airport budget hotel over here as well. So again, let's give them a little bit more purpose, right? Let's maybe give them a little bit of a micro district. Let's come ahead and grab one of our trees, or treed roads rather. Luxury hotel for right now, while we configure a new road network around it. Let's paint ourselves at a micro district. Uh, just a regular one, this is. I think I'm also going to give this the Tourism Specialization from the After Dark DLC. And let's bring out another road network this side now. And we can start to connect in and feed people into various points in and out of the airport complex. Let's go ahead and grab the airport's airport again. And place this one right in here on the corner. Let's get a little bit of that commercial developing where we can. Come ahead and grab another road and start to, again, just give ourselves some more zoning frames and possible sort of asset placements can be considered here. A uh, community pool, if you want to tether this onto the side or indeed the back somewhere of your uh, luxury airport hotel, then you can. I think a yoga garden would go amiss either. Again, if you need to give yourself a touch more room with the terraforming, then don't be afraid to. Of course, all of this can be tidied up uh, during your detailing sessions and made to look a little bit more realistic and respect the build a bit more. You know, there's even a little space here now where I think I've saved myself enough room to come through with a little pathway. Looks like we have. Let's bring this out. Bring some free fun in there too. Come ahead and grab the same tree that are in your chosen assets and just expand a little bit of a garden around the back of the hotel. You can complement it with some of the actual tourism hotels themselves. I don't think I'm going to be 
totally hating that. That's going to be quite nice. Let's also give this a little bit of a box as well. I know where we have used tourism before, don't be afraid to come back and have a little look at what assets that you did like here. You know, what worked well. I definitely like this asset here. This one's quite a good one. So it's just a, a hotel and we can see that this is a 4x4. So respect those patterns and designs that you've stumbled upon. That's going to be great. It's going to be another 4x4 zoning opportunity there. Don't be afraid of a little bit of office space around here too, right? Many different ideas that can be generated. Of course, asset selection is massively important, which we do not want these in. These are not really airport vibes. I've seen it at the hotels as well. Perhaps some of the smaller tourism commercial along the road as well. Not too much. Don't want vast amounts of zoning on this road, but it can be used. And add in some of the smaller hotels as well. So you see right there? <laughs> He's really not appropriate zoning. No, thank you. Let's get rid of those ones. So yeah, I'm happy for the souvenir shop. Little sort of club one here as well. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, definitely. Just no. Just, just stop. <laughs> just stop trying to grow. Don't like those. Yeah, and then that's removed now. So we've actually kind of had a little natural repeatable pattern come in here with two of the Taiwo hotels and a souvenir shop. Obviously move the orientation of the sun as well so we can sort of see these. There we go. It's a little bit better for you guys, I think, isn't it? Okay, so combining multiple hotels with the tourism assets, we can just create a sort of a little mini skyline out here. I'm being bored with it. Again, if you have probable Rico, process becomes vastly easier. But you can develop some hotel complexes outside of your airport if you want. So if you want to now, you can do the Green Cities car parking trick, which we have done before, uh, way over in our Green Cities area. Uh, doing this sort of stuff, I'll link this episode in the top right of the video. Um, if you want to come and see our exploration of the Green Cities DLC during this sort of Green Cities ball build, um, then that will be linked in the description as well as the video. So you can do this outside the airport if you want, but... To be fair, I'm kind of bored of doing those designs outside of airports, so I think I'm going to leave it quite natural and almost use some sort of palmy overgrowth gardens to decorate the front of the terminals here and um, in and around some sort of terminal service assets. So I'm going to use an industrial road for this. Let's bring out distance of 120. I think it's going to be a nice, nice measurement for everyone. Come ahead and grab our police station and um, your larger police and service assets are going to work nicely here. Okay, let's also give them little frames and box them in. You can match the exact curvatures of your airport roads if you want to. Bring those in. So also go ahead and grab a fire station and maybe let's switch the orientation here. Okay, let's have this one come out onto this side and then we'll grab fire station here. Snap this off and give it a boxed in frame. I think outside the box, other service assets, I'm definitely not averse to a little bit of a road maintenance building down here too. Also just realised, don't forget to make this road here a one way. <laughs> There's probably quite a few people uh, shouting in the comments of that one. Yes, make sure this is a one way road and that will help. So speaking of kind of further exploratory uses of other types of assets um, alongside sort of tourism and service things here. Um, the service assets for the police and fire helicopter depots will also pair uh, quite nicely with your airports if indeed that's the vibe you want to take them with. So I'll place in a couple of these I think. Uh, let's see where we can possibly get one of these in. Uh, it'd be nice if we could maybe have it sort of in this space uh, over here. So let's factor in this guideline snap against the concourses first of all. This is really what we want to be respecting. There we go. So draw in your frames, decide on your orientation. This is definitely an asset we want on its side, but again, which side is it that you want it to be facing? Probably the opposite side for me. I want the sort of larger red building to be open to the road. So that's just a simple case of twisting it around. So it looks like that. Box can now come around it. Again, it's going to be sort of like a little supplementary 
sub building to the airport, right? Obviously blends in quite nicely with the classic stuff as well. It's almost like the red and orange works quite well together. And you will obviously see helicopters coming and going from here now, alongside having the little helicopter landing pad decals. Continue to embellish your airport designs with these sorts of things. And around, I don't think a little refueling station next to uh, the fire helicopter depot is hated aesthetic, is it? I think I can appreciate it. That's going to be wonderful for me. An industries warehouse could also be welcome. I think possibly a couple of small ones at either, either side of the airfield, if you like. And use these to store up, you know, commercial goods for your downtown. It's an excuse to get some uh, warehouses in and around very heavily commercialised areas. So we have some of those in. Again, it's all sort of themes and ideas that blend into decorating an airfield because you have to be quite creative in the vanilla game and um, especially without the workshop there it's, uh, it can be a challenge so we want to give this a connection as well let's come ahead and grab our slope tool we want to just slope out this area here let's break our fence in and then we can just grab a little meandering service road it's going to wind down here now knock in and tidy up any terraforming that has encroached upon your Aviation fuel station. You don't really want this thing sort of being embanked. It looks a little bit weird. So, you can be creative. Again, all things that can be expanded and developed during our detailing talents, of course. If you want to see that a little bit, this high-density residential has grown pretty ugly now as well. Let's uh, make sure we provide the right size zonings for these. We can also discover that our little waterfront wants to develop along this side now too. Let's make sure that this district is encompassing. We'll do that as well. Any horrendous assets? Yeah, you guys are okay. Stay historical now. Let's have a little look around. Let's see what we're starting to think. Yeah, so I love that we can see the planes taking the runways from here. That's a very nice aesthetic, right? Especially with the cruise liners going past as well. <laughs> That's always nice. You could, if you wanted to, actually include a cruise terminal as part of the airport build if you're building it very coastal like we are today. But uh, I've got one further down the coast, so I'm good. So, discussing some final little tips and tricks before we move into a detailing time lapse today, because these things do need a lot of detailing. And um, When you look at your nighttime view, your airfield will be very dark. However, if you use the vanilla pavement pathway, um, there's a really nice trick we can do. So just join them across. So I'm not sure what the exact aviation term is for these lines that run between sort of taxiways and runways. I'm sure there are some uh, aviation people in the comments that can tell us. But it's having these little sort of lines running between the open spaces, between any assets and your taxiways. And you can draw the measurements to see it's 200. So let's repeat that this side as well. When you come to your nighttime view now, these spaces, because of the pathway, are going to be illuminated. And it also helps to kill a little bit of the vast empty space that you will generate with airports. Which I realise is natural to an airport. You know, that's how they look, that's how they work. But uh, it can just help fill a little bit of the space, alright? Especially between sort of these ways here. Between the taxiway and runway connections. Now we get a few of those in. And at night time, it's just going to give you a little light between the two sections. And during your detailing time lapse, there's also airport or airline lounges, I think they're called, right? And um, you can place these in alongside concourses. These will increase your entertainment value of the airport or the attractiveness score, whatever it's called. Okay, you can get those in. If you do have elevated metro stations and whatnot, this is a good time to get them in as well. So there is also a couple of unique buildings that come with the airport's DLC. These are the Aviation Museum and the airline headquarters buildings. We can't quite place these yet because we're not at level three. Uh, we do just need to hit that attractiveness score. So again, let's continue to place in uh, a couple more of these airport lounges. This should start taking us relatively close. Yeah, pretty much nearly there. And there it is, wonderful. But that gives us everything now, okay. That's everything unlocked, they only go to level three. And um, so if you do have 
available public transport. You know, we've mentioned these at the start. Um, I don't have elevated metro over here. Um, I certainly don't have trains in this map yet either. And I do have buses, but I've got metro serving this area now, so you know, public transport's fine. So you can include those if you want. They are just sort of like little modular attachments that snap onto your concourse buildings. Um, they do look pretty cool. And if you can find a way to factor them in, then absolutely wonderful. But just for this city, this particular airport, they're not going to work for me. So let's go ahead and place down those unique buildings now whilst we have them unlocked. Again, they can be very nice decoration options. So where I did think about possibly including uh, some of our office zoning over here, I actually think that the airline headquarters building is going to be the most appropriate. So on second thoughts, I am just reconsidering the location of the Aviation Museum. Just because it's got the planes around it. It's quite appropriate, I think, for the entrance of an airport. This super confused me as well. I totally thought this was a glitch. <laughs> I even messaged my dude at Paradox like, Is this working right? <laughs> it doesn't look like it is. But it is, it is apparently. It's. Uh, I think it's referencing something Disney. Though that's beyond me. If anyone can inform me then do let me know. But yeah, I think the positioning of... The Aviation Museum is uh, very important. So let's see what we can do to respect it, if you will. Let's delete it for right now and hopefully give ourselves enough room. This side for an orientation placement. Yeah, I think I like this design here. Okay, got all the different planes out the front. A nice sign of the Aviation Museum that faces out across kind of the airport forecourt. So I'm going to be on board with that. And then on second, the sort of thoughts again as this area is developing don't like any of these so please leave and then we're going to uh, relocate our airport headline or airport headquarters building uh, over into this area here instead so um, once you actually have this building in uh, you can name and customize your airline by coming to your airport info area and you can Change your logo. You can do a couple of different things with these. Uh, let's just go for uh, the sun and the palm. Seems quite appropriate, doesn't it? And we will go for a nice sort of overcharged blue color. You can whack up the ticket price if you want. It will affect the modifiers and attract in the scores, but also vastly increase your income. See now, here you go. There's a little airport, airborne egg, <laughs> passenger plane. So that option only becomes available once you have the. Uh, airline headquarters building in and um, without that it just doesn't work you can't you don't have the option to customize it let's just sync everyone through here so we're not losing uh, any buildings however guys this does feel like a wonderful place for a detailing time lapse we have a lot of work to do including bringing the vanilla pathways across the entire airfield to help reinforce this nighttime vibe uh, i'm going to tidy up all the very rough terraforming that we've brought in around the peninsula today um, bring the fenceless seawall keys all the way around the entire sort of airfield that faces out onto the water. Really tidy this all up. Lots of overgrowth and fence and palm detailing around here to try and bring something of a more natural sort of overgrown, not particularly well landscaped, maintained airport um, in and around this city just to kind of lean into that tropical vibe a little bit. Again, looking on Google Earth for these. Um, a special shout out to the airport in Corfu. It's not really maintained. There's lots of grasses and trees around it. Um, I might consider bringing in some Green Cities car parking. But again, I'm just bored of the aesthetic at this point. <laughs> I know that I've had modded car parks in. Green Cities car parks just don't scratch the itch anymore. Um, continue to change out all the trees along the tree roads. And do some roundabout decoration. And then also bring in a little uh, viewing platform for any plane spotters that want to come and enjoy the spot over here. Uh, basically just going to use... Some of the nature reserve assets that we used last time, like the, the view index and stuff. You know, you can place these here and get an impression of how it's going to function as some sort of viewing area. Uh, lots of overgrowth and tree detailing in and around the empty areas of the airfield. And bring the airport fence around to completely encompass and secure the airfield itself. And then also get rid of the any nasty uh, vanilla terraforming that's left over from the initial structure. Otherwise, let's detail New Bjorks Airport. And we'll be right back.
Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments, and shares below really help me out. And if you'd like to help support my work, there are links down to Instant Gaming and Patreon below. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. I'm really happy with how the kind of heavily overgrown, forested uh, front of the terminals worked out. It really ties in with the tropical theme quite well. I can't imagine it would work that well outside of the tropical theme for some reason, but if you do try it and have success in a theme that isn't tropical, do let me know. And we can see now the blend of all the attraction assets like the hotels and the mix of tourism and the airport uh, headquarters building all really ties the front together quite nicely and little bits of overgrowth and tree detailing out in the airfield itself and lots of those very parallel uh, vanilla paths snapped to 90 degree angles uh, flanking the runways and the taxiways as many places as possible really adds a lot to the airfield so do consider including them within your build playing with the airport's dlc in totally vanilla can be a challenge especially when you're working with difficult terrain like we have on diamond coast but i think we've managed to factor it in and the sort of coastal runways are actually turned out quite nicely with planes coming and going right over the water from the beach. There was a ton of detail you guys wouldn't have seen, so please do hang around for the outro touch as we say goodbye to the airport as it sets into the bottom of the skyline here. Otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. So thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.